to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So I want you to look at your life and look at the kind of weapons God is giving you. It should suggest where you are going to. The weapon of patience the weapon of endurance come on now you are smart enough to suspect and it's safe to suspect lord why are you giving me the weapon of patience why are you giving me endurance why are you training me to war why are you training me to pray why will i pray seven days dry and god says you just do what i'm telling you david i'm training you with a lion and a bear but that's not what will give you honor they are only schoolmasters. the person you are going to fight is not a lion the person you are going to fight is not a bear i can't use goliath to train you so i will use what looks like goliath so you kill the lion nobody says thank you i'm teaching you self-control you kill the bear nobody says thank you you are there in the wilderness then one day can i tell you this when your season of appearing comes eh it does not look like it you will get home in the morning and walk out like a normal day not knowing that that is the day heaven assigned to honor and announce you the young boy went to go and give his brothers food and when he went he saw a a beast with six fingers and six toes roaring at veterans of war and yet none of them had the courage to fight and immediately he saw them he remembered i have an evidence over i have an evidence he went to meet the brothers and they say if you don't turn back i will slap you now you think we think we are feeding sheep here he said this god disguised me using sheep but it's not sheep that i've been tending to the same way god used you he used a job to bring you to abuja it's not the job the job gave you a platform to come here and hear this truth he can bless you anywhere listen god is a master of using situations to move you to prophecy he can use a discussion at the back of your car to connect you to a destiny helper listen always see the mystery behind the activities you are involved with god can use a sick patient in the hospital and force you to get to that hospital because someone in that hospital is connected to your next level it's not about the hospital if joseph was not in the prison how would he meet the wine presser that's why the bible says in everything give thanks complaining is an indictment on god's integrity you are you are only seeing part of the acting give thanks because there is something he's doing God is raising mighty man in this place God is raising people of power in this place God is raising signs and wonders in this place he won't stop, he won't stop Till you look just like him He won't stop, no he won't stop Till your life looks like him He won't stop, he won't stop Till you look just like him You may cry, but he won't stop Till you look just like him You may be weak but he won't stop till you look just like me. Please don't stop, please don't stop till my life looks like you. Please don't stop, please don't stop till my life looks like you.
God is teaching us how to interpret the writings on the wall. It was persecution that came as a disguise and spread the apostles to different regions. When you truly become secured in the love of God, you interpret everything in your life with respect to his love and with respect to your assignment. There must be something you are doing, oh God. No. For my brother to just die, for my son to just die, there is something you are doing. I may not understand, but praise the Lord. Thine is the glory, thine is the kingdom, thine is the power. Hear me, believers. We must raise people who have a spiritual understanding and how to interpret things. Lord, why am I in this nation? Why was I not born in the US or in the UK? Now you know the answer. There is an evidence. He wants to use you as a specimen of his power that nations can be transformed through men who love Jesus. Let me bring you a word of encouragement. I sense in my spirit that many believers are currently in the cave of Adulam. There are families who are wondering, Lord, why will I be fasting and praying husband and wife? And yet we don't seem to afford a meal. We are not lazy. We've gone to men of God for prayer. We've sown seeds. Every time you've done right and things don't seem to happen, something is going on behind the scenes. I assure you, every time you know you are walking in obedience and truth, and yet things don't change, God is preparing something. Sometimes it may be a table he's preparing before you. Witness. I wonder what happened to Potiphar when they anointed Pharaoh. When they anointed Joseph to become prime minister. I'm sure Joseph would look at Potiphar and say, hello Potiphar, how are you? And Potiphar says, oh dear. And he says, no, 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 don't worry. Please hear me brothers and sisters. God brought us tonight to teach us the ways of the kingdom. That more than believers, more than pastors, more than business people, more than mothers, more than fathers, he's called us to be witnesses. Do you know Mary's whole assignment was to give birth? Her assignment was not to be a preacher. Her assignment was not... Your assignment on earth can be done in one day. Do you know that? yes sir hmm. your assignment can be to give birth to that prophet who will spearhead the revival no wonder demons saw it and they're attacking you attacking you attacking you and when that is happening god says don't worry i'm writing something could it be oh dear politician that god reserved you for such a time as this because he reserves his best for the last there are men of God here who are saying, God, is, it seems like you are not utilizing the grace you have put upon my life. When a football club is playing a serious tournament, are we together now? And when they find out that the team they are about to face, maybe semi-finals or finals is a serious team, they would do well to keep their best players behind. Because it can be a strategy with the opposing team to injure and incapacitate the key players and so for the purpose of that final match god will retreat certain people and you will see such a professional player itching but on the reserve that's what is happening to some of you god it looks like you are disgracing me you are falling my hand and god says don't no wonder you are not god you are my child because you don't understand you are not thinking my thoughts I'm waiting until someone makes a statement that over his dead body for anybody to rise in this family. God says, now you are ready to come out. I want to unleash my finest. I want to unleash my brightest. And the day you step your feet in that place and you say, I hear there is someone who mocks the name of the Lord here. And the man says, be careful. Do you know how your father died? said of course i know how my father died on the cross i don't know which one you are talking about then the man knows that you are not just speaking by the flesh again
ladies and gentlemen it is by this mystery that god by his mercy has brought us thus far we did not come here by luck we came here by death the price for life death the price for life two things will happen here very quickly we're going to pray and there's going to be a very serious impartation here the lord gave me an instruction listen i sense in my heart that there are some of you who are coming to the end of seasons of training listen listen it may not be everybody be sensitive i sense that there are people in fivefold there are people who your faithfulness is like there has been a marking of your script in the realm of the spirit and even you some of you from early this year you started sensing when a woman is about to give birth i'm not a woman i may never be one i will never be one in jesus name but then listen carefully from the experience of those who have given birth the last trimester of a woman and the moments even days before she gives birth they are delicate moments is that true correct me if i'm wrong but i know that most women prepare their things baby things already they are not ready for stories they move around with it because any moment sometimes it can happen by two o'clock she wakes her husband he says don't come I, I, you better wake up wake up because a miracle is about to happen let me tell you this i'm sensing in my spirit some of you the way you have been fasting the way you have been praying the kinds of disciplines that god has been subjecting you through please hear me oh esther could it be that it is time to see a hazardous oh ruth could it be that it is time to see boaz joseph could it be that you are a day left to meet your king david could it be that the time has come to see goliath anyone who falls in the day of battle is proof you were not trained well could it be that god has seemed to be delaying you because your destiny helper is about to show up the day he entered into the country you started sensing in your spirit that there is a shift you even had dreams for some of you god uses similitudes he would not tell you exactly but you saw a celebration in your dream and you woke up and said for what in one room i have used similitudes i have multiplied visions i have come tonight as a midwife because it's time to push i have come tonight prophetically as a midwife some of you you have been carrying these children for decades you have been carrying the anointing the the office of a miracle worker now reynard bonke has gone to be with the lord now many of these people have gone to be with the lord for many of them there are vacuums catherine coolman's mv sample mcpherson's there are businessmen who you do not even know of who control the economy of nations mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight miracles are happening here tonight for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return yeah ali ali yo oh, ali yo oh, oh. ali ali yo oh. Many years ago, somewhere in Zaria, I used to go and pray every night. And I didn't know what God was doing. Just go pray like a fool, come back, pray like a fool. 
was barely learning things about the anointing i didn't know that it was an apostolic call to the nations i just kept obeying blindly i will never forget one night that was the first time i was going to minister to someone it was a lady late in the night i lifted my hands for the first time to lay my hands on her and there she went under the anointing i had seen this with benny Hinn. i had seen this with papa hagen now this is happening through my life my god is it a new season then the next time i remember going for a meeting and i stood out barely lifted my hands i began to see manifestations of god's power i said what is this i have always known about the call of god but what call and how far for four years now god has been telling you empty your account and you've been emptying your account like a fool lord what are you doing with me i'm telling you i've come to midwife that prophecy now you will understand that he's teaching you because of the kind of wealth you will be holding the wealth that is equivalent to the economy of nations and so he does not want your heart to be inclined to it please don't think i'm just entertaining you we are going to pray and you will receive something from heaven do you know why jesus christ did not do impartation from day one you read his mentorship strategy the guys were even angry won't you lay hands on us we want to shine and he said keep quiet you will shine till you don't till you die but hold on and then when he had taught them to the point that when he resurrected he didn't even have time to celebrate his victory he said hey let's go back to the class when he was done he said now you tarry in 10 days time there is one who is called the paraclet the one who is the ultimate evidence you were not there on the cross but there is one who has been sent who was there it is in partnership with him that you can tell the world he reigns today we are able to tell the nations he's alive not because we were there when he died we are able to tell nations that he can lift you we are able to tell territories that when he speaks he says what he means and he means what he says because the cave of adulam by the privilege of god's grace has cultured us and is still building us into what today the world is celebrating you may cry but don't hurry seasons hear me there are many people who do not know what god is making out of your life the bible says now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear there are some of you your assignment is not in this nation you were only trained in this nation when god is done with you he will shoot you like an arrow the west still needs the power of god they brought technology we are grateful they brought all kinds of things we are grateful but right now with the kind of spiritual decadence i tell you there are saviors that are rising from the cave of adulam and god will start shooting them to asia europe canada us because there is a harvest that must be prepared the move of god that is coming is not just a move of crusades alone we are going to be discussing next week the other part of this when we discuss the geography of your witness there are people who when god is done with you there is no power that can stop you from winning that election the reason is because god is the one putting you there to do what he has trained you to do two prayer points are you ready prayer point number one i'm available lord make me usable lift your voice and cry please pray don't be distracted I'm yours, I'm yours, pray. I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. 
It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Lord, I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. For this purpose you were born, for this purpose you were raised. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Lord, I'm available. Whatever you ask of me. Whatever you ask of me. I surrender. I surrender. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Whatever you ask of me. Whatever you ask of me. I surrender. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, I truly believe with all my heart that the caliber of men and women that God is raising for the end times, I truly believe the world has not seen them yet. Many of them are silent in the cave of Adulam. Nobody knows them. Some of them are not even on TV. No ushers, no protocol. But there is fire. The refiner's fire is working. Some of them are even in villages. They are not just in cities wearing suits. At the back of that hut, at the back of that tree, praying and saying, Lord, I'm available. Hear me. I know that there are many blessed people here, thanks to God. There are many blessed people listening and following. But can I tell you this? the kind of wealth that will lift the name of jesus in this end time i assure you we've not seen it yet no no wealth that will save nations in one day not just estates not just oil and gas thank god for these things some of you god is calling you into the ministry of kingdom wealth and financing but you are receiving the training of a prophet and you are saying lord is too hard the reason is because all of us are the same thing witnesses so whether you are a pastor or a businessman god will train you together he's telling the pastor fast seven days you fast seven days politician fast seven days and you are wondering lord is it not too harsh i'm showing you the mystery now there are men and women here that god will be committing the resources of nations i'm telling you this individuals i have seen this many times in my visions there are some of you god has called you and is the ministry of influence gatekeepers of systems and structures and as it is now you are still like hadassah do not mind how you will get to the palace leave that to the intelligence of the script writer yours is to stay some of you are like mordecai your honor is there. You've helped many people, but you've been forgotten. Still remain at the gate. A day will come the king will not be able to sleep. Allow the script writer to do his work. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Let me teach you something that you must learn. Every time Isaac is delayed, be careful. If you are not careful, you will give birth to what will eventually fight Isaac. Every time the season has come close, be careful. The devil can position Hagar and Hagar will give birth to something that is not the promise. The ability to stay to the end 
is where the stamina of the believer comes from some of you are one week left in your training some of you are one month left haven't done 12 years what is one month that you cannot finish your assignment is to obtain grace to push a woman would not say i've been pushing for the last six hours i will not push again for as long as she has strength and there's something called induction where doctors can induce the woman and labor can start please listen to me the lord sent me to this city and the lord sent us and brought this convergence not for showmanship it is because seasons i tell you this write it down seasons are changing in this nation i've not made any prophetic statement over the nation or prophetic teaching since i came to this city but god will grant grace and the times will come but for now hear what i'm telling you the tide is changing spiritually speaking in the body of christ the tide is changing as far as the birthing of prophecy is concerned the tide is changing can i tell you this those who refuse to position themselves you will be surprised that god gave you an assignment but you see someone leaving your assignment because god will not allow your carelessness you know this thing about destiny is a relay someone's life is tied to your own fulfilling your purpose and if you are delaying god and delaying other people his bishopric can be given to another just because god called you does not mean he must use you no there are conditions you can use your will to say lord i'm not interested he will honor you and you will watch somebody living your dreams dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the